Every minute is a highlight at the moment, but here's the wicket of Sharma straight after the break. Gold for New Zealand, that was. Genuine edge. LBW appeal on Ravinda Jadeja, but uh, umpire Kettleborough saying he was batting that and he was dead right. Now the boundaries came as Jadeja and Dhoni got together and decided let's hit out for a while and see how close we can take this. See how much pressure we can put on New Zealand. And it was a show to behold. Brilliant stuff. It's forced the hand of the New Zealand captain to go defensive, then attacking. It was just belligerent stuff. There's one magnificent six down the ground here. It's really dented New Zealand, and then all of a sudden he tried to repeat it, and each side he took a comfortable catch. It mid on bottom of the bat, Jadeja gone. Southie into Zahir Khan, who has played with abandon, it's fair to say at times. But peppered him with the short stuff. Big one over the top for six. And that LBW shout on Dhoni, Steve Davis said no, it was a fair enough decision. It was just clipping leg stump, but certainly enough doubt to say no on that one. Bottom line, says India, about an hour of batting, maybe tonight, would seem tonight, will be a great contest looming. Single straight away. New Zealand will want to bowl as many as they can at Zahir Khan, but he's dangerous. Wide on the crease, and uh, he'll come into play. And Dhoni will get the strike back. It's a horrible time to be a captain. It's the singles that will frustrate Brendan McCullum, that will make him question himself and what he's doing and how he should do it, because he still needs his, his catches in place. He's still trying to bowl India out. will be saying to himself is uh, he'll take the singles because he knows that Ishan Sharma can hang around. He didn't do that in the first innings. Oh! Edge and Ross Taylor takes it. Really good catch. And once again, wide on the crease. And Wagner has done it once more. He, he gives it everything, 100%. Fine low catch that by Ross Taylor. So Wagner strikes again, Zahir Khan's out for 17, 349 for 8. Ishant Sharma, batting average of 9, high score 31, that's the key, 31 not out. He can play. Dhoni says no, it's the end of the over, turned down a single. Captain wants to steer the ship almost solely now. Dhoni thrashes it down the middle, thrashes it straight. Just straight enough to beat Sodi. The Indy Cannon's going to go for it. Okay. Well, this, this is a possibility, of course, if needed, that uh, either captain could claim an extra half hour of play. He's really wide. He's, he's, he's expecting uh, the ball to come back very straight. Gone down the ground pretty straight, but not taking runs here. So we're going to get into the scenario now where... Tony is going to try and bat the first four or five balls of each over and then give Ishant Sharma one. Oh, over the top. What a ripper that was. Tony lost that altogether straight off the lid. Four runs, though. Four. Ding dong. Well, oh, great work, Trent Bolt. Now it becomes tense. McCullum brings the fielders in. They're all going to come in and stop Dhoni getting one, which risks Dhoni hitting it over the top for four. Got to go. Direct hit out. Oh! Out, out, out. Subfielder. Could have had your moment in the sun here, boy. Well, look at Ishan Sharma. Knowing that it's the last ball, he was still hanging around in the crease. And then, look at that. He's put the bat, he's plonked the bat in. So Dhoni getting all the strike. Won't take them down there. Not yet, anyway. <coughs> Odd numbers we'll do in the last two. Oh, 
Now, yeah. Brendan McCallum, this is outright OK. So he's decided with two balls to go to bring them in. Didn't get it at all. Just well enough. And it will get there, I think, in the end. So he, you know, he got, I don't think he got it. I think it made that rope. Yes, yeah, you can see that he sliced that uh, attempted lofted shot. As it reached, yes, it has touched the uh, advertising outing. So it'll be two more runs to the Indian total. Do they run the risk of a run out here, or does he trust Sharma if he has to? has come in and said let's check it we're checking the no ball going wide on the crease so oh, is it is it this is so close sonny it only has to touch yes if it touches then it is a no ball does it touch no, uh, tough one Yes, maybe, yes, maybe, it's yes, it touched, it's touched, it's touched, it's touched, as he lands, touched. as he lands, it's I, touched. I, I, he's given it, he can't give it, he can't give it on that. Well, it's, he tried to run it down, then it bounced onto his pads, and then hit it, hit the stumps. Well, the man will get the headlines tomorrow, well, there'll be several of them, but Gary Baxter's the third umpire. Donny's been given and he's got to go, but I think that picture clearly showed that that foot hit the line and it can't do it. It can't do it. 362 for nine. Well, unbelievably, it's 362 for nine. Ishant Sharma is on strike. Last man in, Mohammed Shami. What more can happen? Sharma can play one of the great shots down the ground for four. That's what can happen. Oh, there's so much to talk about about this dismissal. Let's just have a look here. Let's have a look. The rule is that foot cannot touch, cannot touch the line. That's the... There, that's on. I'm afraid that shows it on, and I think... Uh, a number of our really super slow-mo replays show the foot hitting. There. There. Right there. That's it! It's over! Famous stuff! Magical scenes! What a game! What a fantastic game! What a finish! What jubilant scenes! some controversy thrown in as well. Test cricket's boring. Yeah, right. Trying to swing it away. Eshin Sharma decided he was going to try to win this through being aggressive. He's got a little bit of a tickle through. The decision goes to New Zealand his way. The decision to not enforce a follow-on is vindicated. They had just enough runs. They had enough runs by 41 of them. That's what they had. And this is a magnificent victory at the end of the day, regardless of everything that's happened. New Zealand has beaten India in the first of the test matches, and that is something for them to be very, very proud about. Well, India put up a spirited fight. You've got to say that. But uh, just 500 runs in that first innings was uh, a big uh, total. This is the final wicket. Ishan Sharma doesn't play the short ball well. He's a tail ender. And uh, Trent Ball giving him the short stuff. Looking to play the uh, hook shot. Just getting a little bit of a nick. He might have also gone off the shoulder of the bat. And the shoulder. And there it is. Jubilation there for New Zealand. Oh, what a test match. What an amazing... Last day of drama. It's not up to number 10 and number 11 to win test matches with the bat. 
are the unlikely heroes and the unlikely victims because they're out there right at the very end. He has hit that so well, and that's 100. What a way to bring it up. Another captain's innings leading from the front. Always on the run. A destiny. Here's his chance. That's a gap. He'll get a couple. Brilliant stuff. One of the very best. Aesthetically pleasurable to watch. Execution. Nigh on perfect. I was born a shotgun in my hands. Behind the gun, I'll make my final stand. in the air and it's landing safe and it's gone for four and that's a double hundred for Brendan McCullum. Magnificent innings from the New Zealand skipper. Until the day I die. That's out. The finger goes up. Hamish Wallace at first delivery. He's hit it in the air. Struck to the man at short cover. In the air. Take it. What a wonderful catch. Delivery. Magnificent catch because that was traveling. Join in on the action. Oh, gives him the charge and smashes it back past him.